study mass volume and density and discuss how to measure mass volume and density so measuring mass we need to use a scale or a balance we have the top pan balance where you can place your container with the mass on top of the top balance top pan balance and then you can take the reading from the digital screen the beam balance you need to add some weight on one side and then you can add your container on the other side and balance the weights until you can go know what is the exact weight of that uh, container now you can do the same thing using a spring balance where you attach the container or the mass to the end of the spring and then you can read the reading of how many kgs is that or how many newtons is that if you want to measure the mass of a liquid you need to measure it in a container so first you need to get the mass of the container and then add in your liquid find the mass of the liquid with the container and then you can subtract the mass of the container to get the mass of the liquid on its own if you want to know the relationship between the weight and the mass we need to know that the weight is a force which is a vector as well and it's the mass multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity which is around 9.81 newton per kg so weight is a due to the gravi is, is a force due to the gravitational force and we measure weight in, in newtons now if you want to know what is the volume of some objects you need to know if it's a regular object or an irregular object and then if it's a regular object you can do measurement you can measure the length and the area of the base and then multiply them and if it's not a regular object it's an irregular object you need to find the using displacement method you can place your irregular object in a container and then the container will displace some liquid and then if you measure the, the volume of that liquid you will get the volume of the irregular object uh, now once we have the mass and the volume we can use the formula to find the density as density is defined mass per unit volume or mass divided by volume where we know that the increase in mass will increase the density of an object and the unit for density t density is kg per meter cubed or gram per centimeter cubed and density can describe the structure of any material where the particles if they are not closely packed it, it means that it's less dense and if they are very compacted closely packed in one uh, surface area or one volume then they are more dense the relationship between density and floating objects so as we know any surface will have some up thrust due to the liquid that is applying an upward force on the surface of that object and the up thrust is due to the volume of that fluid trying to uh, push upward or have an up thrust on the object on the top because the object on the top has a lower density than the liquid so when the density is less less than the density of the fluid uh, that is immersed in the object will float if the density of that object is more than the fluid then the object will sink if we talk about liquids so we can say that the increasing the density of the liquid will make that liquid sink as well go to the bottom so we know that honey is denser than liquid soap and water olive oil and uh, alcohol if we look at some solids so solids as we said uh, less dense the solids the more they float on the surface so if we compare the density of the wooden block to the density of water we know that the density of the wooden block is less that's why it flows to the top and then if we talk about the iron block we see it's very dense compared to the water and then we know that's why it's uh, sinking to the bottom and similarly with another type of material like polystyrene block will float even more 